Hello everybody, thanks for joining guys. Today it's another video related to the history guys. So we are on our way to the Arlington house and we will check it out and I will show you around guys. Thank you. For ticket, please press on screen or scan your monthly card. Welcome, please take your ticket. Welcome, please proceed into the lot. All right, guys, we got a ticket and today I'm going to ride a tour bus because yesterday I had a tough day. So I want to try uh, do a tour in those buses and um, it cost $17 for adult and also if you are part of the U.S. military then you can get a you, you can get the ticket for $7 so just just in mind if you guys coming and make sure you guys do bring the uh, the, uh, the military ID with you, but you could just walk and do your thing. But it looked like a lot to explore. I will show you the map. That's a lot of walk. So when you park your car, you just come in, and then they do the screening. Um, and then once you, if you buy a ticket, then you go to the left hand if you don't want to buy a ticket and people just walk in and they go inside the facility. And I guess there are more people maybe come to kind of load the bus and uh, head to uh, the uh, cemetery. That tour truck just landed back. Welcome aboard everyone. My name is Lynn. I'll be your narrator for this portion of our tour. Welcome to Arlington National Cemetery. Now, we are 639 acres of what was once an 1100 acre plantation owned by George Washington Park Custis. He's the grandson of Martha Washington and her first husband Daniel Custis. He was raised though from the age of six months old by Martha and George Washington as if he were their own son. So the history of this property dates all the way back to Martha Washington. We have well over 400,000 laid to rest here. We are still a very active cemetery. In the winter months during the week, we may average 15 to 20 services, five to 10 on Saturdays. In the summer months though, we may reach our capacity during the week of 30 services a day and 10 on Saturdays. And we should be on our way shortly. Now, once we make our turn onto Eisenhower Drive, if you look directly in front of us, you'll notice some large black wrought iron gates with gold crests on them. Those gates date back to World War I. The gold crests represent the branches of the military that were active at that time. Army, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines. Air Force not established until 1947. Up on top of the hill is the Arlington House. Come down to the low gray concrete wall. This is the final resting place for President John F. Kennedy with the eternal flame. He's laid to rest here with First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. There are two infant children brothers, Senators Robert and Edward Kennedy, plus a memorial marker for their oldest brother, Joseph Pease Kennedy Jr. He was killed over the English Channel during World War II. A lot of people come to visit here. And uh, but the good thing is uh, it's a nice day it's it's not too hot it's not cold right? like you don't need to wear a jacket or anything so that's a good thing so heading up and that's where the Arlington house located and this is the view along the way guys just so much stuff to look at it and it's just a beautiful day to do this this is the quick view from the top of the hill and it's just beautiful you see the entire city from here there's so much historical building or structure that you see as well. And another thing that they have water posit here and there. And that's just so nice of them to have that. This is the Arlington house. The one we saw from down the hill. And this is 
a big house and we go and walk inside and see here it is guys this is the inside look for a Lincoln house and there's just so much history and so much stuff to look at it it's just beautiful to explore this 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 wonderful historical place so this is it also next to the house there is a little museum and a bookstore we will check that out in a second as well It's a bookstore right next to the museum and again there is a toilet and also a drinkable water. So this is the Pamley Gray house and it's two of them actually. So one here on the left and the one far the other side of the house and they're just so that's the main house and then you got a museum in the back and then you got to the family great house right at the top as well. guys what a day that was a long full solid day to do this um, I think I arrived here um, 10 o'clock and now it's 5 o'clock and I just got out and um, I hope I cover everything and um, you guys gonna definitely enjoy there's a lot to see and this is definitely by far um, a very historical land. Um, there's so much history in this video, guys. So, anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. I try my best to cover every aspect. And um, if I miss something, then leave down the comments and maybe next time I can come back and make sure cover it all. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.